of isolating the stomach muscles. Start with a deep breath in. Here we go. And up and out. And up and out. Two more times. Breathe in and out. One more. Get ready for some shoulder rolls. Here we go. Pull back and bring it forward. Stretch. And again, pull back forward. Same thing again. Pull back and forward. Last time and back. Pull forward. Now we're going to stay back and stretch and open that chest. Hold it. Release it and take the head out. Pull back. Drop to the side and hold. And again, out, pull back and hold. Taking the rib cage over and over a little quicker. Press one, two, three, four, five, six. Slow it down. Press and press a little quicker again. Press. Now bringing the hip up. Contracting the stomach, four, and five, and six. Just lifting that heel, seven, one more. Now just taking your pelvis and tilt up and back. Use that check by putting the hand on the rib and the hip bone. And pull and squeeze, squeeze. And last one, and bring the feet up, one foot back. Tuck under and release the hip in front. Hold it, a nice stretch. Breathe. Exhale. And a switch. That feels great. Back and tilt. And let's shake it out. And Kathy, let's get ready and do something on the floor. All right, let's take it down to our mat. You may want to grab a mat or a towel at home. And we're going to start from a lifted position. But I want you to concentrate on two things. One is contraction. The other is control. We're going to start from a contracted position with our shoulders up. John will be showing modifications. This is called an isometric hold. Get it down. We'll be using it a lot today. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Take it down. Ready? Here we go. We're going to do four drops and then hold again. Down. Two and up. Excellent. Notice John's arm placement. One more, then we hold. Isometric right there. How about that neck, Kathy? Got to keep it right in neutral position, right above the shoulders. That's right. Let's take it down again. Here we go. You ready? Drop. Two. Lift. Again. Two more. Don't forget to exhale. The last one. Hold it up isometric. Come on, control, contract. All right, ready for the third set? Here we go. Drop lift four times. Down, two, and up. Two more. Remember to breathe as you come up. Last one. Hold. About how high would you like us to get here, Cap? Well, everyone's flexibility is different, so I think focusing on getting your ribs towards your hip is very important. All right, that's slowly lower. That was a great set. Now, what we're going to do is the same thing with our lower body. So let's take a pelvic tilt like we did in our warm-up. Go and hold it up isometrically. Drop. Two and lift. Two. Drop. Lift. Good. Now keep the lower back down as you tilt the hip bone up towards the rib cage. Hold it up here. Now feel it. Lock it in. Contract and control. Support that spine by tightening the abdominals and locking it in place. And let's slowly start that again. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Down. 
to and up and down. We'll close up that space by bringing the hip bones closer to the ribs. Last one. Hold it right here. Can you feel that, Kathy? It is working, and it's again really important to keep your back down and just tighten with that pelvis tilting towards you. All right, let's get a third set in. Ready? Here we go. Drop, down, up, and down. And on up, and down. One more. Up, and let's take it up for that hold. Squeeze it. Stay there. Isometric. Don't hold your breath, just the abdominal muscles. All right, let it down nice and slow. Whew. Now, wait a second, we're not done yet. We're gonna do both ends together. So we work it from the upper and the lower attachment. Maximum contraction, guys. Hips and shoulders off, hold it, and let's get ready for that drop lift. Ready, here we go. Take it down. Good, great, good head support. How about two more? Second set, here we go, down. We're gonna do three sets again, can we hang in? Again, remember to take this at your own pace. If you can't do all the reps, that's okay your first few through, times through. You'll catch it the next one. All right, hold. Even right. though we're holding, remember to breathe. Yes. And relax, stretch it out. That was excellent. Let the legs go down, relax, stretch the arms out, take a deep breath. All right, we're ready to move on to working our obliques. Bring the knees in, bring the arms out to the side, and lift your shoulder blades up. Again, contracting and controlling or stabilizing in this position. Then we're going to add that side-to-side -side movement to wake up those obliques. Are we ready? Ready. Let's go real slow. One. And back. which is fine. Let's go tempo. Take it eight, seven, six, five. Try to keep your shoulders up. Last one, and slow. Other well, side, this is really slow. slow. Can you feel waistline. it? Yep. It's more difficult if both hands are behind the head. John is using modified arms tempo. that inch and relax good job oh okay one more set we're going to do the other action of the obliques which is to be able to rotate and lift towards your midline let's start real slow ready here we go take it up and four and down and four other side now try to keep the hips stable and bring it down this is again that contract and control. Again, you've got it. Let's do one more. Now add some hip flexion. It's still slow, but take the hip up with it. Let's try it again. Slow and control. Again. Just tilt that pelvic slightly opposite hip to it. Now let's go tempo. Take it up, down, up. Great. You may want to just stabilize the hips here. Good job. Can you feel it? Is your neck supported? It's How about you, working. Kathy? How many more? How about four? I think we've got four. Yeah. support the spine. So now let's work the back a little bit, okay? Let's take the legs out first for a stretch and feel what neutral back alignment is. It means that you probably or maybe can fit maybe a finger or hand under your spine. Bend the knees slightly and I want you to actively press and get rid of that little tiny bridge of neutral spinal alignment by pelvic tilting. 
or pushing your low back down. We're gonna make that an exercise, ready? Here we go, one, two, three, four, and back. Excellent. It's just a real small move, isn't it, Kathy? It's so small and subtle, but it really isolates. That's right. It really helps you learn where that neutral pelvis is. That's great. Again. And release it. How about just a few more? Help it tilt. Remember, we did a little bit of warm up. Last time, hit tilts towards the ribs and relax it. All right. Let's take one knee into your chest. Stretch out the thigh. Use that to pull you back up off the floor. You did it. Okay, you've made it to segment two. Let's go. All right, take it back down. This time we're going to start in the down position. Again, find the hand to head position that you like. Joan will be modifying. And we're going to start with an equal rhythm up for two and down for two. Up, two, down. Again, lift for those ribs, not with the neck. Great. Exhale. Can you feel this, Kathy? I feel already. Far more. We've got a lot more to go. What we're going to do is we're going to change the amount of time we spend going up and down. Two more, and we're going to lift up in one count and drop down in three counts. Ready? Here it comes. Go up and down. Slowly lower. You don't be in a rush. Roll it. Yes. One. Come on. Lift. Four more times. Emphasizing that lengthening phase. That's it, isn't it? Be centric. Good job. Exhale. Last one. Now let's change it. And go three up. Two. Three. Drop back. Where's the focus now? Now we're shortening that muscle, contracting on the concentric. That's right. Slow on the way up, quick on the down. Slow, tricky, fluid, all the way up. Lift, lift, lift. all the way up. We're almost there. Let's take it back to even tempo. Up, two, down. How you feeling? Squeeze and contract. Remember, contract and control. Exhale. Again. Four more. I know John's doing a good job. Yeah. Modify. Modify. In that hand on the ground. This is our last one. Yep, you got it. You must be counting. <laughs> All right, relax. Good job. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to do reverse curls, but this time we're going to bring our knees in instead of just doing pelvic tilts. I want you to keep the legs flexed tight and just lift the hips off the floor. Are you ready? We've got ready. a couple hand positions. Kathy and I will use the medium one, which are, is our fingertips right down the floor. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. Go slow. Up. Just lift it. Again. Those thighs locked in place. One more. Now we're gonna go tempo. Quick up and down. Here we go. Eight. Seven. How about the lower back? Those hand positions really change the focus. That's right. Karen's doing, of course, much more advanced. All right. Relax it. Excellent. Take it down. Now, we're going to advance this. We're going to take the legs up towards the ceiling. We're going to keep the legs stable in this position, not letting them swing forward and back as we lift our hips like we want to just touch the ceiling with our heels. John is going to do a modified position. Let's take a few real slow and see what it feels like. Are you ready? Up and down. Again, you're not going to get a lot of height out of this, are you, Kathy? No, and that's not what we really want to pay attention to. It's more of that control focus. You're right. Let's 
let's take it tempo. Up, down, up. Try not to cheat. Don't push on the floor with those palms. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Excellent. Drop it down. Oh, that was great. Ooh. All right, we worked it from the lower end. Let's now take and do our crosses. Up, over, center, and back. Other side. Up, over. Are you with me? We're there. All right. Exhale. Adding those obliques into it by crossing the midline. Again. Four more. You should also not try and twist over, but just slightly angle yourself over, really contracting that oblique. That's right. Now give me eight to the right. Eight. Seven. Support that head. Don't take the neck out of alignment. Try to keep it back right over the shoulders. How many more? I think. Two. Yep, this is the last one. All right, relax it for a second. All right, did you feel that on that side? I did. Good job. Now we're gonna do the same cross pattern and then we'll concentrate on the other side of the body. Ready? Yep. Let's start taking it to the side. Go up and over and center and down again. Up, over, center. What about exhale and inhale and breathing? What do we want here? It's real important as you lift to blow that air out. It actually helps you contract a little more. You're right. Two more. Give me a good one. And then we're gonna go to that opposite side for singles up and down. You take it over, back, good. Elevate the rib, cross the midline if you can. Excellent. Yo, two we're more times. Now. Yes, you did it. Relax it. Excellent. Obliques are real important for back support. So we wanna make sure we work them. Okay, this next one is back to that lateral flexed and supported position, meaning bending at the side, but holding support by keeping the shoulder blades off the floor. John will be doing our modification again. We're going to start this time with four slow. Four and back. Take your time and really feel for the contraction. Shift that rib down towards the hip. Shift it. If your neck gets tired, you can always support your head. Let's take it up tempo. Ready? Take it over, back, over, back, over, back. Ready for the other side? Go slow. Take it slow. Feel for the contraction. Or you can really isolate yes. it over slow. Try to keep the shoulder blades slightly off the floor. Again. Are you ready for tempo? Yep. Take it over, back. And if you want to advance it, where the hands go? Up behind That's that head. It. Four. Great, Karen. You got it. Beautiful. Last one and relax. Good job. Oh, you guys did it again. Stretch it out. We're going to be rolling over and working a little bit of back strength from a hand knee position. First, let's give it a nice stretch with a deep breath. Do you feel that set? That was a great set. I really feel that in the waist. All right, let's gently take it up. Bring it to a seated position. And we're ready to get into our hand and knee position. Let's work our back muscles by doing an opposite leg and arm lift. Let's start and take it real slow. Here we go. Out. Hold it up there, line it up. And bring it down, slow. Fight for the balance. Let's take the other arm out. Stay right as you keep your uh, stomach pulled in so that your back doesn't sway. Slow it down. That's right. Yes, an opposite arm leg. Try to get it parallel to the floor. What about that neck position, Kath? You want to make sure you look down so you don't lift up and, and strain the neck. And drop it down. We're going to do one more. Lock it in. Tighten up. Hold it. Feel those back muscles contracting. Keep your elbows soft. Bring it back down. Good job. Good start. Those are great for strengthening that back. That was a great job.
Okay, this is the third session. Let's get right to it. Ready to challenge yourself? Let's go. All right, let's take it down. This time we're gonna play with those various arm position options. I want us to start with the hands to the chest or reaching forward. Here we go. Up, up, up. Good, keep going. Try to keep that neck in line again. Four more. Four, three, two. Now this is the easiest of our variations. So now let's take the hands behind the head and feel that weight of your arms intensify the sit-up. Do you feel the difference, Cap? Oh boy, feel it right away. Two more, and we're gonna challenge it even further. One arm or both out. Now John is modifying, so he's gonna stick with the easier position. Karen's got that tough one. Going. Yep, leave it to Karen. Show us up. Two more. Now hold it, just isometric. Challenge yourself if you can. Take a second and stretch it out. All right. Now we're going to do a little sit-up pattern that starts with just four regular sit-ups and then goes right into a pulse. Are you ready? Let's go up, down, up, hands behind the head. Ready for a pulse in eight? Let's try it. Eight, seven, six, five. No, we're not done yet. We're going to hold an isometric hold. Here comes that pulse, take it, pulse it out, shorten it, rip to hip, four, three, exhale, hold it, isometric, what do you think, a little higher, Ooh, one inch, all right, take it down, that was a hard set, Ooh, take a breath, that. I felt that one too, now remember those reverse curls that we intensified by bringing the legs up? We're going to take it one level harder. Remember the arm modification, fingertips down. We're going to go up and drop, up and drop. Two more. One more. Now go up there and hold it isometric. It's a hard thing to hold. Keep breathing. Come on. Oh, take it down and up. Drop, lift right back on it. Two, don't hold your breath. Here comes the hole, right here. Ah, don't let those hips down. Come on, keep it up. You got it. Again, drop. Can you feel that, Kev? I can sure feel it. It's hard to balance. That's half the work is stabilizing and balancing. Hold it up. Ooh, that's a reverse curl. When you hold it, you know where it's happening. All right, relax it. Whew, that's a hard one. Give yourself a second now to just stretch. Remember too on those if you want to modify, John's doing them. Good point. All right, we're gonna go back to that lateral flexion or that side bending move where you lift up, keep your shoulders up, and this time we're gonna increase it by letting gravity take over and rolling onto our side. Are you ready, gang? Let's start taking one arm and reaching eight times. Head is in the right position. There we go. Beautiful. Come on, contract, think about it. Four more, remember, control and contract. Two more, last one. Yeah, now just roll onto your side, keep your body stacked up, lined up with the edge of your mat, if you're using a mat. We've got several positions here, and we're gonna now let gravity make it even harder. Try to keep your waistline up. Let's take it away, eight times. Eight, it's not a big range of motion, is it, Kathy? Very small, but again, control and contract. We singe that waist. Two, we're gonna hold it now. Hold it and check out your alignment. Make sure you're not swaying your back or placing your neck in an uncomfortable position. You might need to support your head. And then relax it. Go back to lying on your back. And let's do the other side. Eight, seven. Now if you want to intensity. Again, the hands can be behind the head. Four more. Keep the hips stable. Keep the shoulders up. Last one. Roll over to the opposite side now. Let's let gravity do the work. 
and make sure you keep your waistband a little bit elevated. Here we go. Up, down, up. Several arm variations. We've got John doing the beginning. Now if you need the support, place the fingertips on the floor. Two more. Hold it. Come on, right there. Contract it. You got it. Breathe through. Feel it. Again, you don't have to be very high. And gently roll out of it. And bring it back. All right, good job. Grab one thigh. Use that thigh as a leverage up. And let's take it over again to work our back muscles. Here we go. This time we're gonna lay all the way down on our mat. And what I'm gonna do is ask you to take your arms. John will be using the beginner position. Kathy and I will be right in the middle. And what we're gonna do is take and squeeze our shoulder blades back and lift our chest up just so that the sternum comes up right about mid chest level. If that's too high, you don't have to go that high. We're gonna drop it. We're gonna make it an eight count lift and lift the leg with it. Here we go. Up, two, three, four, down. Keep your neck again in good alignment. Up, down. One more time. Now take the leg action out and let's double the count. Up and down. Yes. Last one. Oh, he was in a break. Well, now, again, the height is pretty much up to them. Some people have a lot of flexibility. It depends on your own flexibility. But you want to build up to it as well. These are great exercises for the back. Well, we have the other leg to go. <laughs> Here we go. Slow up and down. What about breathing through this? Where would we want to breathe? Make sure you exhale as you come up. Really helps when you take some nice breaths as you exercise. Four more. Come. Two Anybody more. Anybody can? Anybody care? The last, last one. one. All right, here comes that quicker move. No leg. Up and down. Up and down again. That was John's great modification. Four more. How are we doing? Almost there. All right. Oh, that's great. Ooh. I need a stretch. How about you? Stretch it is. All right. Let's stretch the back out. That was quite a challenge set. And bring it down flat. Beautiful. Good job. Okay, let's go into a cool down. Take one more cat stretch, bringing it up, releasing the back that we've just worked, bring it back down to a flat back, and let's push all the way back and release those shoulders. Remember to breathe, this is a nice relaxing time. around. Focus on the obliques. Feel that stretch. And come back. Take that leg on the outside and reach up. Pull all the way up. And hold. up and over, and again, focus on the back and the obliques. And coming back, take that leg right beside it and reach up, real tall, pulling up out of the rib cage.
head down to one side, gently pull. Feel that stretch. And release it. Just remember, it's never too late to start. Consistency is the key. Stick with it.